Hi everybody, welcome back to Print Powder Pout. Today's tutorial is inspired by uh, Jean Shrimpton, who was David Bailey's muse back in the 60s. And this was a requested tutorial, so I'm going to do hair and makeup. And so it's going to have a real 60s feel to it, but um, sort of away from the twiggy 60s, it's going to be a little bit different. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, I've already moisturized and everything, and so I'm going to get started. And I'm going to apply Max Face and Body C1 all over, all over my face, not my body. Okay, and then next I'm going to use my, um, this is my Quick Hide Long Wearing Concealer by Origins. And I've actually got, um, I don't know if you see that, that's not a spot. Um, it's like a flat sort of scab where um, I scratched myself. And so, yeah, I, I need to hide that. Um, and then also, obviously under my eyes. So, um, this is long wearing, so it's quite good. It's not going to budge during the day. So I'm going to dab a bit of that on. And... Blend it out. And this color is 01 light. Pop a bit on the lid. As you can see, I've got quite pink lids today. And then I'm just going to dab to blend that a little bit more. It's best to dab if you have something that you want to conceal, because if you rub it, then it just sort of moves the concealer all about and doesn't stay in place. Okay. Ooh, nice and fresh. Okay, next I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes and I'm going to use, where is it? I haven't shown you guys this yet, I don't think. This is my Sephora um, Pro Lesson Palette and I got it because I just loved all the colors. Um, so if, I don't know if you can see that, hold on. But it has, it's good for green eyes and um, so it's got purples and these sort of yellowy um, greens. And um, I actually think, what should I go for? I think since it's 60s-esque, I might go for... I might go for the greens, actually. I was going to go for the purples, but I've done purples loads before, so I'm going to go for the greens. Um, so I'm going to take that lighter color at the top right here, and then I'm going to move on to that color and then that color. So I'm going to sweep the natural color all over the eye and blend it up to the brow. Okay, that way you can see properly. Alright, now I'm going to take that darker green I just showed you and I'm going to pop that onto my lid.
I'm just going to blend that a bit. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect if you're just going to go and blend it. Take a bit more just in the crease. And then over that, I'm going to take that lighter green, which was that one right there. And I'm just going to pop that over it and all along the crease. So now I'm just going to add a highlight and I'm going to use, this one is High Shine Gold Metal by Bare Minerals and can you see that? There you go. So it's got a nice gold to it which will complement the green. And I'm going to pop that just in the inside and sort of dabbing it onto the lid. Now I'm going to apply a liquid eyeliner and I'm gonna use this one is eye studio lasting drama gel liner by Maybelline and I'm just gonna use a flat liner brush to apply that and I'm just gonna apply a typical sort of 60s flick keeping quite close to the lash line Now I'm going to apply mascara and then I'm going to put on false lashes as well. This mascara is High Impact by Clinique. Let that dry and I'm going to do my eyebrows and I'm going to do lovely arched big brows. She's got some good brows going on. So I'm just going to comb those up and get them into place. And I'm going to use a mixture and where is it? I'm going to use my uh, Makeup Forever and this is my, uh, what color is this? It's just my blonde one, it doesn't say. Um, but this is my Makeup Forever blonde eyebrow pencil. And I'm going to really define those arches. Come that out. And I think I'm just going to put a little bit of this. This one is brown. Let's see this light's hitting the. And sorry, this brown was um, boots number seven. Okay, on there. I'm going to apply some false lashes and I've, I've lost them again, haven't I? I do this every time. Oh, here they are. So I lost them last time I tried to do a tutorial. Okay, so I've got my duo adhesive and I'm just gonna pop that on my lashes. And these are girls with attitude lashes and Got my tweezers ready and I'm just gonna glide that along and do the same on the other one, let that start to dry. I'm 
do the other side. Okay, so we're gonna let those dry. I'm just gonna apply a bit more concealer just around the eyes. And a bit more just on my scratch. Right. And then I'm going to apply my powder. And this one is a new one that I have by Origins again. And this is their um, Brighter by Nature and it has an SPF um, 30 in it. And it's a skin tone correcting makeup. So, we'll see how it goes. I've not used it before. So it just looks like, like that. Just gonna... Then it's blusher time. I'm going to use Makeup Forever's um, oops, got glue in it. Makeup Forever's Uplift, or sorry, Uplight, and um, this is an illuminate. Ah, this is a face luminizer gel, and what color is it? This is number thirty-two. So it just comes in a little pump like that, and you don't need much at all. So I'm just going to pop a little bit onto my hand. And really try and get out very little. I still got out too much. I mean that's right there. It's just too much anyway. But I'll pop that on. And I'm just gonna dab it on. Then we're going to do lips. And the lips I'm going to keep quite nude. Um, I'm just going to line them with, uh, this one is my Rimmel Tiramisu lip liner. And um, Jean had really, really lovely plump lips, so I'm going to probably go a little bit outside the lip line. And then I'm going to use my NYX Lip Smacking um, Colors, and this is, mm, I don't know what color this is, Cream by NYX. And I'm just going to get a little Real Techniques lip brush. Okay, so I'm just going to zoom out for you. Okay, so we've got the Jean Shripton um, inspired makeup. This is sort of a modern day version of it, but it's sort of in keeping with the style. She's got the arched eyebrows, she's got um, the dramatic eyes with the eyelashes, a nice highlight um, just in the center, which is very 60s. And then she had the big pouty lips and quite delicate cheeks. Now, the next thing that sort of um, puts the whole look together is her big sort of beehive-ish hair. So um, what I'm using is my Remington um, volumizing brush. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, you have to be very careful with this brush, especially if you have long hair like mine because it can get tangled. 
so um, just take care when doing it um, but it does work really well um, if you use it properly so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get my fringe because she had a big sort of sweeping fringe like that okay so first because my hair is quite a bit longer than hers um, it's gonna be difficult to get the look entirely um, on the bottom bit but the top will be able to get it so what I'm gonna do is this bottom bit um, I'm just going to sort of um, curl outwards like that um, with the brush and and then I'll do the sort of beehive all around that so I'm gonna take a small section of hair and I'm gonna brush this through it now this has a release button so when you sort of curl it, you can press this release button and it, the brush spins out. So if, um, let's try and show you that again. And I got my finger on the release button and the brush spins out. And so see how it sort of flipped out a little bit at the bottom. Still not entirely heated up, but so I'm just gonna hold that there for a second. And release. And there we go. See, you've got that nice flick. And sorry for the mess behind me again. I've got my kit and laptop and everything sitting on the bed. Um, I was sort of trying to get everything ready while my little one slept. And then I lost the SD card to the camera and it was all manic, so I didn't tidy behind, but it's only the spare bed anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to go right into the root and start the lifting process. And then I'm going to bring it all the way down and gently roll it all the way up. And then press the release button and it should just release. You can see that my hair is quite long. So I'm just going to sit here for a second and hold that while I check my phone. And I did exactly what I said I didn't want to do. Just I've gotten it a little bit stuck. Okay, I'm going to do the same on the back. And then I'm just going to roll it down a bit and get those ends nice and curled. Can you see that? There you go. My arms are getting tired because it's definitely going to get caught. But if you, um, like my hair, my hair does have a wave, but it goes straight quite easily. So I can get away with it almost. Um, but it is, it is quite good for those with, with straight hair. Um, do you guys remember when Rachel um, from Friends like had the Rachel haircut and it was like really big? This is this hair style right now as it is reminds me of that. I totally had the Rachel haircut. Okay, now I'm just gonna back comb my hair a bit. So we've got this sort of framing my face, and I'm gonna take section of hair just right here brush through that first so I don't seal in any knots and I'm going to take a back combing brush and I'm just going to gently pull down the hair and I'm going to do the next section and then I'm going to take the top section here and zoom on the other side.
You just use your fingers to sort of ruffle that up. And there you go. This is my Jean Shrimpton inspired makeup tutorial. So I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Bye!